Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3 as USA. And the biggest naval battle that we've started to date is still ongoing off the shores of Wake Island. Right over here. They are trying to land an invasion force over here. And we are having to fight them off with... Oh, I think the naval battle is completely gone. Um, did we really lose it? I want to rebase for a second here. We can try to reorganize something. Oh, we legit lost that. Proper. Him. All right, let's um, reorganize here. See if we can make a decent fleet out of what we've got left. You guys are actually in pretty good shape. We have four carriers out there that are in fantastic shape. And if we can give them a good screening component. With lots of organization. And not too badly damaged. No positioning penalty yet. Um, heavy cruiser? Heavy cruiser? Okay, that just starts barely. And we still have decent screen, which is nice. That's um, Nimitz over here, who could use a promotion. He actually has leveled up already. We may have reset some of his skill stuff, but we need to make sure he doesn't have the penalty. We're going to have him go out there and um, re-engage this navy, since he's actually in pretty good shape. Only a 3% positioning penalty. All right. It's not too bad. Now, there's a lot more of them than there are of us. Again, some of these are transports. They have poor positioning compared to mine, which is a good sign. And a lot of their guys don't have the organization. Forty-one kilometers, effective positioning, guns effective distance. So these guys are still trying to close to firing range. So we only have three. Um, I think these are heavy cruisers, which have longer range, um, are currently firing. They have a few more, but not that many. Now, our planes should be engaged. Speaking of planes, uh, you have no organization. Yeah, you gotta rest. Uh, that's a few more cags than they do. Did we really, lo really lose that battle? No. I, I think that was an aerial battle thing. I think that's why we get so many messages about uh, battles being won and lost. I think we lost some ships. Cause didn't we have more ships than this? Some retreated. Can we make another competent navy? Well, we do have another carrier over here. Could throw it in. Start to get more of a stacking penalty, though. We're swinging things back in our favor over here. It was risky for a second. Stormer beaches in Guam? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, so you got beat up. What do we have over here? Oh, that's Wake Island. Where's where's Guam? Guam probably doesn't have a navy anymore. Yeah. I think we're just going to lose Guam. Retaking this is going to be brutal. Just brutal. If we can win one of these naval battles, it'd be nice. I'm really ticked off about that crash. Because when the crash happened, I had won a massive naval battle and sunk a ton of Chinese stuff. Um, this is where all my battleships are, right? Yeah, and they're beat up. Oh, the Tennessee has a lot of experience points. But, yeah, we need to get their um, recovery up. 37 units, base can repair 36. So they are, you know, going to be getting repaired, but mostly we have to wait for the organization to kick up online. Um, I don't know if that would matter if, like, they were split up properly. I don't think it makes a difference. But just in case. Something like that, just to say. It'll be interesting to see if they take the island and kick our people out of there. Oh, yeah. No, we properly lost that. We're going to lose both these. And then they might sink our fleet. Damn. Did I go too heavy on carriers? 
Should I have done more stuff with battleships? I don't know. You guys definitely can't fight right now. Alright, what other navies are kicking around here? There might be a bunch of stuff we never really activated. Uh, oh, the Yorktown uh, division is fine now. Well, we'll help you move to Midway. I mean, I guess America, I think historically, USA had been had lost these islands in the past, right? Had to retake all this stuff? I'm not sure if that's actually true. Uh, you staying there is fine. I mean, they're definitely going to take this island. Any other sortie that could happen? You guys are at full health. Uh, that organization's not great, but... Well, that's not terrible. Let's try it again! <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. I don't know what this bar represents. Oh, they're having a much higher base positioning than last time. All right, right away, the I Idaho fires, but then all of a sudden goes to zero organization. Maybe it's being target fired down. And it's pulling away. Oh, yeah. Running out of organization instantaneously. In fact, I think we lost some ships. No, no, we went in with 11. Never mind. And our screening element isn't really getting in there, is it? Is no one firing on either side right now? I think that's the case. Neither side seems to be firing. They have two carriers to my one. It's night time, so maybe, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, sub, I don't actually want you getting involved. And the invasion over there. Well, we're definitely going to lose Guam. What is this? Oh, we can tell there's ships there. We got some vision. That's interesting. Oh, um... Go ahead and do a sortie over there. Maybe you'll get there in time, maybe you won't. But you're in good shape. Our subs are engaging two destroyers and a transport. And it looks like the other navy is mostly looking to move away. Destroyers aren't going to help out. Lost the Battle of Guam. As expected. Lost some of our positioning, but that's okay. Engage the hostile navy over here. So, we brought in more ships. Oh. Alright, won the Battle of Scarborough Reef. So, you can go back to, uh, let's say, convoy raiding in this area. That's fine. I'd really like to keep Wake. I really, really would. Where the frack? Oh, up there. It was too low. Really, really, really would. I guess I could have just done that with the combat. Kaguti sank something. Sank a Japanese ship. Nice. And again, right now there's like nothing engaging. Oh, it is nighttime again. What is it, Canada? You want some energy? Sure. 
Anything for you, Canada. They're about done their invasion over here. Which I think will eject the rest of my navy out from here. Um... Wow. Level 7. Uh, if we level you up higher... Okay, where's your XP bar? Do you personally have an XP bar, and where do I find it? Experience, 7.10%. Okay, so if we level you up right now, we're not losing much in the way of XP. Which is good. You won't gain as much anymore, but you're already pretty high. Okay, so the most you can get is level 30 with no penalty. Of course, you still get the ridiculous stacking thing. So I don't think it makes as much sense with ships, actually, to do this sort of thing. I'm just wondering... Yeah, there's probably no way to overcome this. Um, yeah, you're mostly just going to be running. In fact, I wonder if, like, I just told you to do this. Would you, like, not engage at all? Because I don't want you to add into this battle and screw up our positioning modifier. I have no idea. Yeah, we lost the Battle of Wake Island, so we had to move. Engage the thing. Oh, that's somewhere else. But... We won this battle, sinking some ships. Yeah, the Battle of Scarborough Reef is happening again. And yeah, all of you guys go ahead and rebase over here. Um, you make sure you're rebasing passively. We'll see if we can rebuild at midway. Won the Battle of Scarborough Reef. Excellent, saving the Philippines for a little bit longer. Um, if we can get a naval blockade going on around Wake, that would be nice, because they have a lot of Marines in here. A lot. It looks like my Navy is getting out of here. Is this, like, just the international dateline here? You see, the, like, the weird texture split? I'm thinking that's what's going on. And we don't have a whole lot of troops defending Midway. Um, let's make sure... I don't know, queue up a ton of Coastal Fortress stuff. A ton of Radar Station stuff, which I think I did uh, last time before the save exploded. Which is too bad. Okay. So we're mostly going to have to wait for a bunch of stuff to get repaired. But let's see if we can make a relatively reasonable fleet with what we've got going on right now. Um, we could have a couple of carriers. Plus one heavy cruiser. Plus um, some screening elements that may not be damaged. Good, good, good. Um, can we fit another heavy cruiser? No, everything else is too damaged. Oh, no, no, right over here. Good. Still no stacking penalty. Brings us up to 14, which King can lead. Good. Alright, I'm going to have you on patrol around Midway. Good hunting. Try not to die. So let's upgrade the naval base. Good now, but we may want to put more people there. Alright, so we've lost a couple islands to the Japanese. Bunch of bites. Looks like they're uh, getting another invasion force ready here. This may be where I want to blockade them, but right now my fleet is way too beat up. <sighs> right, you're still sort of sitting around not doing much. You are an intercept duty in case we happen to see anyone over here, but I'm not convinced the Germans have any, any navy at all anymore. Rebase. Your transports? Yep. Um, let me load you up and go and reinforce Midway. Okay. Damn, that hurt. That really hurt. It is a victory point as well, although things are overall pretty good. We're still sinking a lot of their transports, which is good. And it's still relatively early in the war. I mean, it's only 41. We do have, like, unlimited resources. Plus pretty good industrial capacity. And we keep sinking their transports. Oh, our, our convoy got lost there. 
I should have actually done a go to to see exactly where that happened. <clears throat> we don't have a fleet patrolling around Hawaii. But we do have a lot of fleets kicking around here. Don't we? Oh, right, you're still with just one giant fleet. Right, right, right. I should make this the pride of our fleet. I don't know what it does. Oh, I can't. Sure, Cuba. Okay, we sank some more transports. I mean, we're losing... We're sinking a lot more than we are losing here. Some convoys there, but yeah, it's... Nowhere compared to one another. Where is this happening? Is there, um... Is there, like, a strategic bombing mode? That will explain where... This is happening? Because I don't know, and I don't like it. Unless, is it like the whole side? Okay, so Germany did all the strategic bombing damage. Is it literally us, or is it just everyone on our entire side? I don't know. Uh, one of these is sub-fleet, right? Oh, it's the transport fleet. Right, right, right. Okay. Still not a huge group of people over here, but what the hell. Yeah, queue up some more stuff. Some radar for visions, more industrial capacity. Sure. Tell you what, actually, though, I'm going to DQ this one. It's been in there long enough. And I'm going to cancel uh, this rocket test site is about to finish. But, like, it does use up a lot of our extra IC. Some strategic bombers getting started. We don't need this many right now. That's not what's going to save us. Man, these marines take a long time to train. Contact. No, that was a while ago, though. Uh, these are my transports, who are all fine. And I guess I will send back over to here. That's probably okay. How you doing? Eh, you're repairing remarkably quickly. Navy is under attack. Submarines. Our submarines being attacked by some destroyers with a carrier. Oh, God. You were convoy raiding. Okay, we didn't lose any, though. Thank goodness. Get out of there. Are you going to rebase? Because that's what you should do at this point. Yes, you are. Well, not rebase, but I mean, go back to base to repair. Alright, any chance we can make something half decent again? Well, some battleships and cruisers, and destroyers and things. It's not bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. Uh, leave the carrier out. We'll try to go with something that's more, like, you know, focused. Maybe the way it should be. One destroyer in there for vision. Take heart. All is not lost, friends. Um... I want to patrol the waters around here. Oh, we, we still don't have a ton of organization. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're repaired, but we're not organized. Cancel. What about you? Yeah, you're actually fine. Sure, Mexico. And Ireland. Filthy neutrals. Never know where they stand.
So we lost Guam, we lost Wake, and we still lost that other one that I don't care as much about. Guam and Wake are important, because if we're ever going to strike against the Japanese mainline, we're going to need them back, but we are still ages... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We're still ages away from even to mount the most basic of attacks. I right, need to create that. Uh, let's go and run some high-speed stuff again. It's always a little bit risky. We won the Battle of Truer Shoal. We lost nothing while they lost a ton of crap. No kidding. Oh, every now and again, a little bit of good news. Brazil. Chile. Fast forward, fast forward. Mechanized infantry is finally done. Okay, good. Mostly going to need that in Europe. Uh, but again, we're still years away from, you know, when... We really started punching back, so hopefully okay. We do need those landing crafts. I guess the uh, defensive things make sense. Tank, anti-tank weapons aren't the same priority though. Not yet. Okay. That's good, yeah, because I want to build once these finish, I want to start working on some 1942 battleships. And then the 1942 light cruisers. Still don't have much in the way of land doctrines. Um, cruiser warfare. More organization. More detection. Yeah, light cruiser positioning. Carrier group. So carrier positioning. Oh, that'd be too far ahead. More light cruiser improvements. Uh, carrier surface detection. Well, problem right now is not detecting things. It's defending our freaking borders when we get attacked. Yeah, we're not going to chase those down. In fact, I might want to turn that message off. Ooh, finally, some more things to deploy. It's been a while. Um, I don't remember. Did I ever get anyone? And I don't think I did. Uh, get on the boat. I never got anyone in Anchorage, did I? So let's go and do that. It's not much if there's a true attack over here. Okay, these are... Are those destroyers? They're transports! Oh, they didn't lose anything. We found a bunch of Japanese transports. And please tell me we're hunting those fuckers down. I think we lost them. Okay. I didn't even realize we we're making regular infantry anymore. I guess now we're not. Literally the last of them? Okay. Hostile Navy. Oh, those are the transports again. Transports and my destroyers are engaging them. Can we catch them? No, they keep fleeing. Transports are too fast. My submarines and destroyers are pretty old. I think all they're good at is catching convoys, and that's about it. Like that one. You were going to Helsinki? Really? Wow. It was a hell of a transportation run. Never find anything in the world and oh the lag I think if I was just looking at the ocean it wouldn't be quite so laggy all right how are we doing over here um, you fully repaired fleet you are now fully 
organize as well. Okay. Actually, I can probably embiggen you some more. Because at this point, there should be some more stuff that's okay. Um, should have like four battleships. Just a little bit shy on screens. All right, we're gonna take this fleet, the Third Navy. This is a uh, BB Third Navy. All right, battleships. Not necessarily the latest and greatest. The Arkansas is certainly a little bit more dated. I think. I actually don't know what the, like, 1 versus 2 indicates. Is it just me or they have, like... Well, they have no battleship engine or armor upgrades. Whereas these do. Oh, the Tennessee is the pride of the fleet. Cool. All right. Well, if you're the pride of the fleet, that sounds pretty good to me. They have... They have a crap ton of ships here. 27. I mean, we can't force them to engage us. But we can keep them pinned down. Right? Of course, they also have all their planes. So we're going to get bombarded the whole time. We'd really need to have the um, the carriers over there. And we've got some. Actually, the Intrepid has no planes. Okay. And they're bringing in some more stuff over here. It's where their fleet is. It'd be nice to catch some stuff moving in and out. Like, I don't know the right way to engage it. I mean, big fleets have a massive positioning penalty, but they're also big frickin' fleets. Well, we're not gonna engage the big frickin' fleet until we've got our stuff ready to go. Here, more patrol. That's fine anyway. Great Patriotic War! Bastion's invasor may have driven deep into Soviet Union, but Red Army and Red Navy are self-sacrificingly disputing every inch of Soviet set. Are you telling me the Germans are crushing the Russians? And I'm really feeling bad about not giving them any uh, land lease. But damn it, I need my production. Oh, actually, spy count is going up quite a bit, so I think... I can go and nerf this down. Something like that. Let me bring up the officer count a bit. Something like that. Great patriotic war. They're definitely being pushed back pretty aggressively here. I mean, could you imagine, like, Germany just conquers the Soviet Union in this game? And we're like, okay, well, GG! Well played. Um, you know, I'm not going to do a D-Day landing at this point. Yay, we sank some stuff. Could distract them a little, but that would literally be all I could do. Navy is under attack. Yeah, that's pretty legit. Our destroyers are going to come in and help out, though. Mischief Reef. They have a... We won the battle. They just fleed. They did have a carrier and everything. I'd really like to get more of a naval presence around here, I think. Alright, let's dispatch one that's a couple of carriers, a couple of heavy cruisers, looking good, and enough screens to cover that. Um, all light cruisers, ideally. There we go, that should be sufficient. 
with the spotter. So we're going to have Stark. Your job, well, first of all, is going to be to re rebase the Philippines. If I can find it. Oh, God, it's so laggy. Uh, everything sucks. Okay, over here. Go, go, go. Okay, there. Um, rebase to right there. Yes, re rebase aggressively. Should move relatively quick with these carriers. What is your speed? 22, 21, 21, 50, 23. I mean, somewhere here should tell me the overall speed. 21. Oh, that's good. I mean, you're only as fast as your slowest member, but that's my carrier. I guess it's fine. I don't know. Hopefully. It's faster than battleships, anyway. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on intercept duty over here. Just stay docked. But if you see anyone, if we spot anyone, go and see what damage you can do, buddy. Meanwhile, my subs... Oh, it's pretty damaged. I wonder if I should... I'm hoping they repair first before they head out again. I suspect. They're not moving now, so that's good. Okay. Meanwhile, what else is going on? Okay, they moved, they had 30, um, I don't know if it's brigades or divisions. I think it's brigades. They had 30 brigades of marines here on, um, on Wake, and they're gone. Damn, that is a big navy they've got there. I gotta say, the drama in this is a lot higher than in the Russian game. There's a different kind of drama there, but this, there's, you know, more of this sort of cat and mouse action. What can we hope to catch out? Yeah, we're light on screening units over here. Uh, Hazley, you are not suited to this. Put Fletcher in there. Uh, just hang out for now. We've got enough patrolling over here, and I'm not sure what else I'd want to do. And keep their stuff pinned in. 24 units. I mean, I certainly have more than that that's ready to fight. But they can, again, just park in there. It will stop anyone from going in and out. And I do have the carriers now. Although, again, this, um... We don't have a full wing. Who out there? Rebase to carrier that's got room. There we go. Let's say we have two carriers. We should have two wings of two on each. Patrol the area here. Try to catch little individual ships. If a big fight happens, we've got the numbers advantage. Plus some potential reinforcement from here. Not that far away, actually. Like, we've got a couple of fine battleships that are ready to go. The only question is, can I get together enough screening elements? And, yeah, I can. Uh, no, I can't. If we pulled out, say, the heavy cruiser, then all of a sudden we don't no longer have a mismatch anymore. You actually have um, full morale as well. What is this? That's a transport escorted, I think, by a destroyer. That would have been great to catch. Could still happen. Now, we can't take the island, though. They have obviously way, way too many people. We don't even have marines or landing crafts. But I'm hoping to hit more of their little individual ships. Oh. We had a convoy going to Fuju? Okay, I don't know what that is or why would you want it, but all right. Uh, let's add you to the San Diego fighter wing and take you guys over. Right. 
forgot. No airbase at Midway. Mm, very annoying. Alright, you can rebase yourself in Honolulu. Midway, did I start producing an airbase here yet? No? Yeah, we should definitely do that. Let's queue up a bunch. It's fine. And some anti-air guns. They're all in the separate queues, so they don't compete with each other. Um... We might, we might kill the industrial capacity building. Oh, I'm going to cancel the rocket site. We've got a bunch of them, and it's soaking up quite a bit of IC. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. We have an actual naval battle. No, it ended. Except we're bombing some ships over there failed. Okay. My ships are still doing okay. As okay as they were. Alright. But yeah, if we can ca contact. Is that, that's an aircraft carrier, right? I wonder if we can force them to engage. And then another one here? No? Yes? No? Yep. It's just some screening ships. Not actually sinking anything. There we go. We sank a destroyer. And here we have our battleships engaging some much lighter ships. You know, they're fleeing. I mean, they might be getting damaged, though. That's going to be the hope is that we're actually damaging these guys, even if they're running away. So just because we have contact with the fleet doesn't mean we can engage the fleet. And we know there's a fleet here, but we haven't actually been able to close with them on the seas. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just have, like, a heavy cruiser-based army. Like, look at this. Look how glorious this one would be. I think there's a transport in here, too. That's a, that's an aircraft carrier, right? Ooh, there's a lot of little battles. A lot of little battles. They've got no organization. Come on, baby. Get some damage done. Oh, they lost something. What is that? Is that a carrier? Kind of lumply and bumply. I wish there was like... It's not that. It's not that. I don't think it was a light cruiser. It might have been a battle cruiser? Could be, because I don't... No, I have those in the list. Fuck it, I don't know. Well, we keep getting a lot of engagements, and we're forcing them to go away. I don't know if we get a chance to fire on them yet, but... Another carrier ready to go. So, how fast can the heavy cruisers go? Okay, they're not that fast. So, it'd be nice to use them for intercept, but... And battleships, how fast do they go? Yeah, only 18.5, so they're definitely not good at catching people. I mean, if we already don't have enough screening, this might not be too bad. I don't know. I don't know how much of a difference it makes not having a proper screen. See, it's like, I wish there was a mouse. This is, okay, two capital ships, so... Man, it looks like a flat top. Well, this is definitely a carrier like mine. Okay, and that's a clear carrier with the flat top. This is whatever the marble head is. So I'm thinking a light cruiser? No, it must be a heavy cruiser. Right, because they're both capital ships. And they're just trying to withdraw because, yeah, they have no organization. So we keep winning, but we're not killing.
Oops. We have inefficient research. Twin engine, yeah. Guard warship radar, that's actually pretty good. Agriculture is pretty good. Who's complaining from being out of supply? All these guys. Yeah, all right. Well, it, I guess that's fair. Why does it do that weird scrolling shit? Something? Oh, it's because of the international dateline. If I try to drag across it, it gets all wacky. <gasps> that's awesome. I love it. Okay, so let's now do that. All right, let's tell these guys they can go ahead and rebase. That's fine. You go ahead and rebase as well. Definitely don't want to fight without, you know, bullets and fuel. That would be pretty devastating. But yeah, it would be very nice to finish an airfield here. Actually, let's bring it up to the top of the queue. Airbase on Midway. It is being worked on, but let's make sure it stays near the top. Because even a single airstrip would be nice to do a little bit of bombardment over here. Or something. Okay. Now, of course, by having my entire fleet over here, I'm potentially very, very, very vulnerable somewhere else. Got some intercept stuff over here, right? The third navy is on intercept in case we see anyone. We still have a couple of uh, submarine fleets and destroyer fleets buzzing around to spot things, which will hopefully then be able to intercept. Um, let me go and you over here. Mm, no, one of the slight fast ones. Yeah, one of the ones with the carrier because you have a slightly higher. Actually, why is your speed so slow? Oh, because you have a gun. Why? Get out of here, submarine. What the hell? Oi. Patrol passively. Probably not going to do any convoys. I just want you to, like, spot things for me. And not slow the hell down my fleet. There we go. Much better. Um, I'm going to get you to rebase over here. Protect Honolulu, you're a little bit faster, so hopefully you can get to the front if there's some action that happens somewhere a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, you were pretty low on supplies and everything. And hopefully that'll get reinforced. I actually don't know how they work. I don't know if it matters, but let's queue up some infrastructure here on Midway. Probably has something more to do with the naval base level. I think that's true. I, even when I moused over it. Um, no, not here. But in supply mode? Can repair, but... There we go. Supplied from. Midway Island. Local supply. And is this an actual... like? Do I have a supply route that does this that I have to worry about? Because there are... Yeah, these supply convoys, right? To Honolulu. San Diego to Honolulu, we've got a convoy heading there. Shipping supplies and fuel. And I can manually set these up. Well, yeah. But I have to turn off the automatic feature, and I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to leave it on automatic. <sighs> okay, this game is just... It's running so much slower because there's so much more micromanagement to be dealt with with the naval stuff. Um, it feels like we're building really poorly. When That's not entirely accurate. Are you, um... Any chance going to go out and intercept there? You're going to return? Not much in the way of supplies. Hey, what? Let me switch you to, like, aggressive patrol. In case it makes a difference. Oh! United Kingdom have taken back Ethiopia. Oh, things are happening in the European theater. That's wonderful. Um, did I not transfer over a bunch of troops over here? 
I guess not, huh? Is this Boston? Where's my, um... No, that's the Pacific one. Where's the Atlantic? Oh, I did! Right, over there. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then you can go back to Boston. Wonderful. And then you guys... I don't think there was an easy way to do that, eh? Yeah, not really. I can do that, but then I still have a bunch of dudes who are not doing anything. Um, well, actually, what I can do is select the HQ, grab everyone, move them down here. Actually, no. I'm going to move you to Exeter, except you guys can stay where you are. There. And that'll make it easy for me to grab people that are left and reorganize them. All right, I got to put a cut in here, but when we get back, we're going to continue this insane slugfest against Japan in the seas. And uh, we're going to just keep tacking up. I mean, we still have great leadership. It's just things are going slow because we're running the game slowly. Landing crafts. I should have started them sooner, though, but that's okay. And production. We still are producing a lot of... Uh, these are light crafts. Yeah. We actually need quite a few more than that. We've got plenty of uh, capital ships. It's the, uh, the screens that we're a bit shy on. All right. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.